Would you believe me if I told you this is honey? Look at how much it's puffing up. First, in a small saucepan, carefully pour in the granulated sugar, then the golden honey, and just a small splash of water. Now, kind of like when you're making caramel, heat everything up to 160 degrees, stirring gently from time to time. Now turn off the heat and add the magic ingredient, baking soda. And get a whisk ready right away because we need to stir. Look at how very much it's puffing up. And now we have to wait for it to cool down completely. Why did it puff up so much when I added the baking soda? Because baking soda, when it comes into contact with an acid, in this case, honey, releases carbon dioxide. But this also happens with yogurt, lemon, and vinegar. Plus, right now we also have a nice hot mixture. With the heat, enough energy is created to break all the chemical bonds in the baking soda, which makes it release even more carbon dioxide. The result is that a lot of air bubbles are formed. However, this mix of sugar and honey is also very viscous. So in reality, these air bubbles stay trapped inside and start to expand, creating that foamy effect we saw. That's also why, in general, it can be added to recipes as a leavening agent because it makes our desserts rise really well. Let's see how it turned out. Look at this, you can see all the air bubbles that got trapped. It created this structure that looks like a honeycomb. Ciao!